Right, well, with reference to my practice in, in um, working with uh, steel, um, I work as a sculptor, so I have a certain kind of knowledge of the processes involved in working with, with steel. And um, it's kind of interesting with reference to the, the uh, blacksmith painting behind me, uh, because it is about uh, recording um, a way of working with steel. So kind of reference back to Wright's kind of uh, response to that kind of more working class industrial context is that he's trying to capture a kind of moment specific in time to do with um, a process that is, is still relevant today. So that's quite exciting. There's a kind of relationship between um, blacksmiths, farriers, the way I work with steel, it's kind of interconnected. And this painting kind of records that, but to me what draws me into the painting, of course, is the reference to what is being uh, produced, what is being forged. And there's this great huge lump of metal, which has been kind of shaped using a heat process from a forge, being hammered. Uh, we're not too sure what it might be, but um, it may be something for the farrier industry or it may be something more architectural. But in, within that uh, process, um, the central element of the painting is the, the light that comes from that forging process. So you're dealing with heat and fire, and this forging element creates light. So um, that kind of centralizes this idea that it, it lights up the painting, and it plays with the kind of the dark and the light. And you start to then pick out kind of details from almost that lack of light in a sense. You know, people, the expression of people's faces, the details of horseshoes on the walls, uh, there's a horse in the background. But then you've got this oddity, these young people, very close to the anvil where the steel has been forged. And in my workshop, if you were that close to a piece of metal, you would have various sparks and kind of bits of metal flying off, you know. And it's kind of slightly dangerous, you know. So I'm, I kind of, it shows the question, why are they in there? You know, why, why have they come, you know, to that sort of space? So I think that's a kind of interesting question. Uh, but you have to admire the kind of documentation, the kind of use of paint, the use of light, uh, and the harder context of, I suppose, capturing a non-affluent kind of space or uh, context, but a, a more working class. So intriguing. Uh, and it's great to kind of be in a situation surrounded by rights paintings where you are taken in by the painting, you want to investigate, you want to question what's going on.